On this special episode of Supercars Talk, it's goodbye to Gary Jacobson. I figured this one needed its own special video. Gary Jacobson has been given the ass from Premier Racing. Um, probably a little bit surprising he did not have a good weekend up in Darwin um, but yeah he's uh, he's 25th he's 24th in the championship his teammate is 23rd in the championship so there's not much in it um, but yeah you you have to kind of look at his results for the year and question a little bit um, he had that brilliant weekend at the Grand Prix where he had three uh, top 10 finishes um, and a 15th uh, but when you go through the rest of the year his results are 18th did not finish 16th did not start 20th 18th 14th DNF 19th DNF 16th 22nd 18th and 22nd um, nothing to really write home about there yes okay he's had those peaks um, but he's also had those troughs um, yeah you know was Peter Ziberis uh, just over the crash damage or is there something else going on there um, w was he caught eating McDonald's when he's only supposed to be eating Subway um, yeah did the check not clear uh, from the bus driving or something? Who knows? But the fact is he is out of a seat and we need someone to replace him. So uh, there, there's a few names uh, kind of being thrown around at the moment. Um, the, the main one that keeps popping up is Zane Goddard, who actually tested the car very recently uh, with some of the co-drivers, which that was a bit weird at the time that you getting a, you know, as, especially he's contracted to Tickford. It's not like he's a triple eight driver. Um, obviously the premier cars do come from triple eight. So it was a bit odd that they got uh, Zodard, <coughs> Zodard, Zane Goddard in to test that car. Um, he does bring funding with him and he does have, uh, you know, one and a half years experience in the main game. Um, Yes, he has that co-drive with Tickford at Bathurst, but he would only be giving up a co-drive with, uh, it hasn't been confirmed, but it would be with Randall or Courtney within that team. So you do have to ask, is he really giving up something, you know, that spectacular to have a main game drive again? Uh, the next name that keeps popping up is Kirk Stecky. Uh, so... It's questionable how much funding the family has for Kurt's exploits this year. Um, it does seem that their whole kind of family budget did go to buying that Tickford seat where he does have that co-drive at Bathurst. Um, he would, once again, he would have to give that up like Zane Goddard would to take the seat. But yeah, you, you're only giving up a co-drive next to your brother. It's, it's not like you're gonna go, it's not one of those plum kind of um, Bathurst co-drives. Uh, the advantage with Kurt is, uh, you know, he did, he was impressive in those Walkinshaw uh, wildcards last year. Uh, and he also did a really good job with Matt Stone Racing at Bathurst last year. So he, he's definitely got better um, and being in probably better seats as well. He, he seems to have improved quite a, quite a lot. Um, the other, the, the big name that uh, I, I haven't seen much in the um, actual reporting on this, it seems to be, this one's a lot of fans are kind of coming out with this one, and um, Fabian Coulthard. He was a man who essentially had this seat until Peter Zibris took over the team, uh, and the, the contracts or something, you know, didn't quite, carry over from the techno days so Coulthard was out um no no uh Coulthard has the plummest co-drive in the field obviously the one with Chas Mostert in that Bathurst absolute rocket ship from last year um he's much better off in his semi-retirement and you know take, taking on that seat with Chas at Bathurst again this year um obviously the other kind of guys that you'd uh, you'd have to look at are the potential Bathurst co-drivers that Premier were looking at of um, Tyler Everingham and Cameron Hill. Both probably aren't really ready to step up. Um, there's also Jordan Boys, who he's doing those wild cards with Erebus. He has a Bathurst co-drive with Macca Jones. Um, yeah, are you giving up a lot to take that main seat? 
uh, you, you know, you, you kind of have to question that. The big question for me though is, are they looking for someone to pay for this drive or are they looking to pay for a driver? Uh, I suppose that's what they've got to kind of weigh up with uh, both drivers that they started off with the year. We're bringing checks to the team, uh, probably not the same funding and probably both of them um, different funding. But yeah, it, that's, that's probably the biggest question if they're looking for someone with funding or whether they can, you know, go and poach someone. There is some, you know, Will Davison and Mark Winterbottom are potentially available for next year. I tell you what, both of them should be looking um, at their current seats well before they look at this one. I think this team will be on the rise in the future. Then I can't see them making the jump like, say, the Groves have this year. This, this is going to be a long-term project. So... At the end of the day, I'm not really sure who I would pick. Um, the big question, can we pick someone to pay them or do we have to find someone with funding? Um, most of the really good drivers are locked away with Plum Bathurst co-drives um, and probably wouldn't take a chance on this um, poison chalice seat. Um, so down in the comments, let me know what you think. Who should they replace them with? I mean, if budget was no option, I'd be going after Garth Tander right now. But, you know, that, that's my personal opinion. Um, <laughs> down in the comments, let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, I'm still Dave and I'll catch you later.